Hello and welcome to the NERPG New Equipment Set Wizard tutorial. In this tutorial I will be demonstrating how to import some of this awesome plate armor from the Fantasy Garment for Uma free set which is available on the Unity Asset Store. For the castle that my knight will be running around in I'm going to use this dark stylized castle kit, another free asset from the Unity Asset Store. If you don't have a copy of NERPG yet, you can pick one up from nerpg.org slash downloads as a free Unity package or from GitHub as a complete Unity project. I will be using version 0.14.2 alpha for the demo today. I've already imported into my Unity project both the castle set as well as the fantasy garment set. When you import the fantasy garment set, you will need to go to the UMA window and go to Global Library and choose File, Rebuild from Project. And when that is complete, then the UMA gear will be imported and you will be able to properly equip it and your character won't look naked with the gear on. I have also used the new game wizard to create a new game with this castle level, so tools, any RPG, wizard, new game wizard. Check the copy existing scene box and then just pull in the demo scene from this stylized castle, give your game a name and go ahead and click create and then Finally, I have the default spawn location just pulled to right inside the door of the castle here. And with that set up out of the way, we are ready to start with the use of the new equipment set wizard to demonstrate how it works. The new equipment set wizard can be found under Tools, NERPG, Wizard, New Equipment Set Wizard. I'm going to name this new equipment set the parade plate set because this particular gear that we're going to be using here is called the parade plate set and that's the one that this knight character is wearing. I will use set bonuses for these but first I actually need to get some set bonuses installed here so I'm just going to go to the template content wizard and quickly install some template content um, I'm going to install three pieces of template content actually for this demo. The first one is the vendor NPC template package so that I will be able to demonstrate how you can actually buy the gear that is made with the new equipment set. I will also be installing the warrior character class template package so that our character can start with this gear. And finally, I will be installing the legendary plate all plate equipment legendary items template package and because the legendary plate set comes with some set bonuses that I can use. I'll wait for the template content wizard to install all of that content. And then we should have, at that point, everything that we need to actually complete the use of the new equipment set wizard. Okay, looks good. So now I'll go to Tools and ERPG Wizard, New Equipment Set Wizard, and once again, just put in Parade Plate click on use set bonuses and for set bonus 2 I will choose legendary movement speed and then for set bonus 5 I will choose legendary immunity. The way that the set bonuses work is each one of these rows represents how many pieces of gear you have to have equipped to get the set bonus. So element 0 which is basically the first row means if you have one piece of gear you'll get this set bonus in this case the set bonus is nothing 
and since this is line two, that means if you have two pieces of gear, you'll get this set bonus, and then nothing for three and four, and then for the fifth piece of gear, you'll get this set bonus. I'm gonna click the Require Armor Class button and set the Armor Class to Plate, and what that'll do is make this gear as plate gear, and then require that my character knows the plate um, armor class in order to equip it. So for example, mages can't equip it. I'll leave the create vendor collection and create loot table buttons uh, set to checked, which will create a loot table so that we can assign this to enemies so that when we defeat them, the gear will drop for us, as well as it'll create a vendor collection so that I can actually add this to my vendor and let him sell it to us. For the item quality, I'm going to set it to epic item quality. For the item level, I'll set it to dynamic level, which means it's going to scale with me. And we'll just set a level cap of 25, which basically means it'll scale all the way from level 1 up to level 25. I will give this gear some stats. And in this case, I want to give the gear stamina and strength because those are the stats that we will need for the warrior. I'm not going to bother with manual values. If you leave the values as non-manual or automatic, then the amount of stamina and strength you get will be based on the item level of the gear as well as the item quality. I'll add some secondary stats as well. In this case, um, they're not going to be random. I'll just always allow, for example, one movement speed and one extra physical damage. Under the equipment pieces, I will allow a head piece to be created. You'll notice here that we've got some names filled in automatically, and these are based on the armor class. So if I change this, for example, to the armor class of cloth, um, Due to an interesting bug in the way the Unity UI works, I just have to check and uncheck any button and then the update will happen. And you can see that it went hood, mantle, robe, and bracelets. But in this case, because it's plate gear, I would like some plate names. And so now you can see that it's helm, pauldrons, breastplate, and van braces. And I can also change that to anything I want. For example, I can change it to face bucket and that'll actually work as well. And you know, I'll just leave it like that for fun. For the head icon, I am going to choose the uh, plate helmet silver icon just for demo purposes. The rest of the icons I will leave blank because there are default icons that will be included and I just wanna demonstrate those as well. There will be two UMA recipes one recipe for each supported character race. So in this case, I'm just gonna type in parade and for the helmet, we want the helmet coxcomb parade nose wide mouth F recipe. And then the same thing, but wide mouth M. So the first one's for females and the second one is for male. And what'll happen is when we equip this gear, then it will automatically just select the first piece of gear that is going to work for whatever race the character currently is. And that means that by selecting or having both of these as an option that this gear is gonna work for both males and females. This particular set doesn't have shoulder pieces as a separate item. The, sh the shoulder graphic is actually included on the chest. So I'm just gonna uncheck use shoulders. I'll set two chest recipes, and in this case, that is the Hauberk Max Parade F and the Hauberk Max Parade M recipe. And then there are no separate wrist graphics once again. The wrist, what you would normally think of as the bracers, are included in the glove graphics. So I'll just uncheck use wrists as well. And then for the hands, I will set the Gloves Long Parade F and the Gloves Long Parade M. There's no separate waist or belt recipe, so I will uncheck that box. And then for the legs, we will use the Leg Armor Parade F 
and the leg armor full parade M recipes. And then we'll set two Uma recipes for the feet. And that will be the boots steel parade F and the boots steel parade M recipes. That's all the settings that we need. And now we can go ahead and click create and it will create the equipment pieces for us, the equipment set, the vendor collection, and the loot table. So let's open up the castle game that I have created and take a look at those resources. You can see under the resources directory, under the equipment set, I have the parade played equipment set, which lists the five pieces that I created as well as the set bonuses for equipping those pieces of gear. Under the item equipment armor, you can see that we have got each of the pieces here with the Uma recipes defined right on the gear, as well as the stats and basically all the other properties that we set. Because I want this stuff to be purchasable, and you can see that there's no currency name currently, what I'm going to do is just select all of them and then set the currency to silver. And it's going to have the price per level as 10 silver, but that is going to be um, automatically scaled based on the epic item quality. So it's actually going to be more like about a gold as the purchase price for each of these on the vendor. If you leave that blank, then basically you can just buy it for free from the vendor. And in fact, let's actually do that just for the breastplate. I'm going to leave that blank. And then you'll be able to see that one of the pieces will be free and the other ones will all have a price. Under the loot table, you can see the parade plate loot, and it's currently set with a drop limit of one, which means that um, it'll drop one of these pieces per of gear. And you can see that we've got a 20% chance. Um, this is actually a weight, it's not necessarily a chance, but with exactly five pieces, that weight equips or is equivalent exactly to a 20% chance um, for each of these pieces to drop when we defeat an enemy that has this particular loot table assigned to it. And finally, you can see that we've got the vendor collection here with all of the gear, and it's set to an unlimited quantity, which means that you can buy as many of these pieces as you want. Um, the vendor's not gonna basically go out of stock. So let's go ahead and put a vendor in the scene so that we can purchase this particular gear. Um, under the prefab directory, under interactable and vendor, we've got a vendor NPC. And I'm just going to put them over there in front of this building. And with the blue arrow facing forward, that means that the vendor will be facing toward our character. And then we'll want to go down to the vendor's unit profile under a unit profile vendor. We've got this vendor NPC unit. And down here under the vendor props, I will just change out the items, which is just basically a blank vendor collection with the parade plate equipment. And now our vendor will be able to sell us the parade plate equipment. Finally, what I want to do is I actually want to make this equipment as starting gear for the warrior character class that I installed. So I'll go over to character class and go to warrior character class. I will reduce the number of items because the warrior by default you can see has this copper armor. But instead I want the parade plate equipment to be the default. So I will just select each of these five items here and set this equipment as the default for the warrior class. And then when I start a game and choose the warrior class, then they'll automatically be wearing this stuff. I should be able to basically just go and press play, make sure maximize on play is checked, and click the play button. And now we should be able to basically start the game wearing that equipment. So we'll go new game, and here we can see that the warrior character class is selected by default because it's the only character class that I have installed and my warrior is wearing this awesome Uma gear. And if I go to appearance and go to sex and change it to female, then it's also working for the female because of the fact that I chose both male and female Uma gear 
when I made that selection. Let's go ahead and start the game. And now my warrior is running around and I can run over here to the vendor and you can see that we've got this breastplate which is listed as free because we had removed the price from it and then all of the other gear has a price on it. You can also see that because I chose that helmet icon as the helmet icon, then this one actually has an icon, whereas because I didn't put icons on the other gear, then it just basically has these default pixel gears. And, you know, I can take any piece of gear, take it off, put it in my backpack, and it is going to appear or disappear from the character. So that is how you can use the new equipment set wizard to quickly create an equipment set of Uma gear and run around with your knight and patrol these ramparts and defend your castle using your new Uma gear. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the NERPG YouTube channel, or if there are any other tutorials that you would like to see in the future, then leave a note in the comments and I will try to prioritize making those tutorials for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.